time now for your forewarn weather with Nate Larson. All right, some active weather rolling through much of the state today. Captured by Tammy Budge, this is in the South Ogden area. We've had moisture streaming in from the east as an area of low pressure rotates through the state. Meg Roberts out capturing some of the clouds out there. We've seen a bit of a break, more sunshine later this evening, but for the most part, uh, it's been a pretty nice day overall. If you don't mind some of the wind and a few clouds, we even had a few showers roll through, mainly over the higher terrain. A look from Enzyme Peak this evening it looks gorgeous out there. You can see some of the uh, uh, cloud cover as well with sun going down the sun angle lowering showing off some of the base of the clouds it looks phenomenal out there winds as I mentioned are more of the issue as we head into tomorrow we've got some changes on the way satellite and radar showing that counterclockwise rotation is well defined there you can also see quite a bit of moisture rotating within this area of low pressure it's being scooped up from the Gulf of Mexico and rotating around this low which is meandering across southern Utah this particular uh, radar image showing fairly widespread showers but if we take a look at some of the webcams and closer to the ground not seeing a lot of moisture out of these showers, maybe near that thunderstorm that we saw roll off some of the Ochre Mountains as it pushed off towards the west. Uh, but there is that threat of moisture potential sticking around with this trough of low pressure, re, uh, pressure retrograding through Friday. And then eventually we'll slide off to the east as a ridge of high pressure slides down out of the Pacific Northwest and starts to take over our weather pattern. But notice that low, it's a little slow moving. It'll impact some of our weather, I think, through Saturday few clouds on Sunday, and then we have another weak system just clipping some of northern Utah on Tuesday. Might generate a few showers as well. Overall, it's the winds that we're focusing on. So that counterclockwise rotation generating those easterly downslope winds. Nothing new for northern Utah. Unfortunately, we get these downslope winds quite often when those troughs of low pressure situate themselves to the south of us. Uh, easterly winds of 25 to 35 miles per hour in the light tan shaded areas for Salt Lake County, Cache, and Box Elder County. We have high wind warnings now in effect for Weber Davis counties 35 to 45 mile per hour winds could see gusts up to 65 there's a small chance even up to 75 mile per hour wind gusts for areas near Farmington tonight into tomorrow our model showing some of those stronger wind gusts again really picking up tonight this is eight o'clock as we get towards midnight should start to see some of those stronger winds into tomorrow morning around the commute time as well so high profile vehicles if you've got a camping trailer of course semi trucks on I-15 heading north and southbound could be impacted most uh, mostly by that of course we could see some down trees maybe a few power outages as well if some of those limbs break break off low pressure then as it slides to the south mention some of that moisture rotating around will keep a chance of some showers in the mix over the weekend this is into Saturday we're not a washout of a weekend by any means just a slight threat for the Wasatch front better chance of course over the higher terrain not much moisture is popping up though with some of the models that are showing some precipitation a few hundredths of an inch in some of the cities across our valleys uh, might have to keep your eye to the sky for a, th a stray thunderstorm or two especially if it rolls off some of the mountain terrain into the adjacent valleys. Upper 70s for Friday, slight chance. Partly cloudy skies in St. George into Saturday. Sunshine taking over on Sunday for Mom's Day. 87 back in the low 90s. This is average high temperature for southern Utah. Those low 90s, breezy winds, but sunshine through Thursday next week. The Wasatch Front getting close to 80 degrees into next week, but we're upper 60s on Friday. Slight chance of a shower. Partly cloudy on Saturday. More sunshine in store for Sunday for the Wasatch Front mid 70s. That's perfect, I think, outside temperatures above average though into next week. Usually we're right near 69 degrees this time of year. An isolated shower on Tuesday, partly cloudy mid 70s, breezy and those 70s are sticking around. A few clouds though Wednesday, Thursday next week. Sarah.